have you ever been casually pulling up a YouTube video to watch after a long day when all of the sudden what YouTube got me hook line and sinker with that commercial that's approximately 87 decibels too loud actually it probably took a solid year of me getting that out before every single youtube video before i finally cracked but welcome back to hope scope oh i didn't mean to sit on welcome you. back to hope scope your number one source for all things fit fashion hosted by your legging queen and the co-host leo look at this fabric can you believe it lee this lovely little number and that lovely little ad belong to Carbon 38, which is a boutique of really high-end activewear. 11 out of 10 recommend checking out their 70% off section because they regularly update it. But they do also have their own line, one of their more popular collections being. And today I'm trying out specifically the Prismatic collection. We got leggings and a sports bra. The Prismatic collection consists of these dreamy pink and purple iridescent sets. And I'm gonna review it for you and take it to the gym, see how it works or doesn't. The Lumina sports bra. Okay, I'm not normally a fan of these like tube top style sports bras, but this one is actually surprisingly functional and flattering and comfortable. As far as fit goes, this little guy is pretty true to size. It doesn't come with any cup pads, but it is double lined so you can be assured that nothing's gonna sneak through. There's a very thick elastic band that runs along the bust band. The fabric is a 73% polyester, 23% spandex with this beautiful foil finish. Do you see all those colors that it picks up? Oh, it's magical. This was $78. I mean, like it's one of those things. One does not simply buy the leggings without the matching sports bra. It's available in sizes extra small through large, which I'm not blown away by that size range. And then the luminous legging. These are $118, also available in size extra small to large. These fit true to size. I didn't think they would. I got a medium in both the leggings and the sports bra. I don't know why I got a medium in the sports bra because I'm pretty much a small across the board in tops. There was a teeny tiny bit of extra fabric in like the crotch and behind the knee areas, but overall I like how they fit through my bum and thighs. I actually saw a couple other people in the reviews on the site mention that they wish they would have gone down a size. So if you're in between, go with the smaller. These are long. <laughs> like I'm a tall gal. And I found them to be bunching up around the ankle. Now I know how all my short friends feel. I'm sorry, guys. It is described on the website as a taut, taut, tight, under tension. Compressing fit, which I agree with. It kind of like sticks to your skin in a good way. It's a lot more lightweight and stretchier than you might think. I was expecting it to feel kind of like leathery and thick, but I didn't get that. It's very high rise and the waistband is double lined. It does have a very thick seam running along the top. I know that some of you don't like that. These are made from the same polyester spandex material that the sports bra is with that foil finish. The inside of the leggings and the sports bra don't have that foil finish though. They're just a regular polyester spandex on the inside. Today is the day that we test the Takara. I'm gonna look like a pretty little fish. Man, this fabric's pretty. I don't even know if the camera can pick it up, but it has like the daintiest little scaly glittery details. What do you think of it? Ooh, looking good. <laughs> wow. Hey, we kind of match today. Then I'm gonna wear my little Sasky mesh top over it. This has been like my favorite shirt. Kind of want to go get all the other colors just cause you can still see the design through it, but I'm not breaking dress code. <laughs> gonna pair it with my APLs. Wait, does that clash? Maybe it kind of clashes. I'm gonna pair it with my Fabletics. <laughs> there we go, white's always a safe choice. Lady, do you think I look like a pretty fish? No comment. I'm excited to test these babies out, but first we must properly caffeinate. That's how it's done. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to be recording this. Cute shot of my double chin to start your morning off. I finally found a charger to my beats so I can wear my over the head earphones today. If you want a sick workout playlist, I actually have a Spotify playlist. It's just called Hope Scope. I update it every single week. I started my workout with a little mild jog and then moved on to a 20 to 30 minute full body circuit. I figured this would be the optimum opportunity to try out this set and also that's just my favorite kind of workout. As far as functionality, these leggings are absolutely squat proof. I felt completely sure that nothing was gonna show through through my entire workout even when they were wet with sweat, and I honestly can't say that for every legging, which is kind of sad. However, I will give you the advice that I give with any pair of leggings, and that is I recommend wearing no underwear or a neutral color pair of underwear. I usually go for like a nude thong. These are completely sweat proof. I got a good little workout in there, and I did not see a 
single drop of sweat on these leggings, even in this light color. The only thing is they dry really slow. <laughs> And the sports bra was way more supportive than I thought it would be. It was phenomenal for my little jog. If you're interested in this full workout, I actually did post it over on my Instagram. It's the little um, light blue home workout one. Let's rate these babies. The overall rating on the website of the leggings was a 3.8. I would give them more like a 4.3. I really liked them. I think that there is kind of a size inconsistency, but they are a great pair of leggings. The sports bra's overall rating was a 4.6, which is pretty good, and I would give it that myself. Both really exceeded my expectations as far as quality and function. They are approved by the legging queen. I hope that review was helpful. I'm sure that a bunch of you have been getting that ad as well. As always, if you have a specific product or brand that you'd love to see in your review, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to like the video before you leave. And Leo and I, you gotta wake up, bud. Maybe I'll bring this down to your level. We'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.